Let's learn about quantum theory and continuing with the electronic structure of atom. In this, we are going to learn about quantum numbers, atomic orbitals, and how the electrons are distributed around the nucleus. So we know different elements have different uh, electrons, and uh, we are going to learn how these electrons are arranged around the nucleus because they are revolve around the nucleus we will learn how they are arranged around the nucleus the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus can be represented something uh, called uh, using something called as a quantum number so consider uh, the representation of an atom as shown the red thing in the middle we can call is the nucleus and the orbits around the nucleus the black one are the places where the electrons will reside. The first one we have, I have represented one, two and three orbitals. So instead of just calling it as orbitals, let us give it an identity and we will give them, give it a name and call it by the first quantum number and the principal quantum number. So we can call the first level as n equals 2, the second as n is equal to 2 and the third one as n is equal to 3. So this principal quantum number that takes the value of 1, 2, 3 gives me the position of an electron. So what is it basically? Suppose if you have a building, the building should have different levels. Suppose you have a building in which you have uh, uh, say 4 floors, each floor will be given a number 1, 2, 3. It is similar to that. Here also we have given to the different levels around the nucleus as 1, 2, 3. And uh, the energy of the level increases as it goes farther from the nucleus. Or n equals 1 will have the lowest energy level and n equals 3 will have, uh, will have higher than n equals 2 and n equals 1. Or the first quantum number defined to you is the principal quantum number that gives me the position of an electron in analogy to a building where we have different flows the first, second and the third floor. Okay, now we have entered the building. So let's just go into the first floor. Now once you go into the first floor, other things you need to know is uh, what is the shape or how many rooms are there in that uh, uh, first floor and what is the shape of those rooms and how many people I can put in. So the first thing let me take here is the shape of the rooms which is available in first floor or Instead of calling it as a first floor in a building, let me call it as the first orbital uh, around the nucleus. So, uh, the first thing I am going to do now is to know the shape of the atomic orbital when n is equal to 1. And that is given by the quantum number, the second quantum number and we call it as the angular quantum number. And the values of angular quantum number is limited. The number of values L can take, the symbol uh, L is the angular quantum number, is n minus 1 values. Like if n is equal to 1, L can take a value of only 0. If n is equal to uh, 2, L can take value, all values less than n, that is it can take a value of 0 and 1. So that is in analogy to a building. I have entered the first floor and I have uh, only, uh, it's a first floor. So the value of shape can only be equal to L is equal to 0. Therefore, I have only one room there with an L equals 0 value. So in an atomic orbital, so when N is equal to 1, L can take only a value of 0. And uh, we can't keep calling it as a shape. Let's give it a symbol. And that symbol is S and the shape is spherical. So similarly, when N is equal to 2, L can take a value of 0 and 1 and it takes uh, two subshells S and P and uh, the shapes are spherical and dumbbell. Similarly, for N is equal to 3, I have uh, three values for L, S, P and D with the shape of spherical, dumbbell and double dumbbell and N equals 4 gives me four values of uh, L, 0, 1, 2 and 3, S, P, D and F for the symbols given to them with the shapes spherical, dumbbell, double dumbbell and clover or donut given to them. So in analogy to our uh, building, I have uh, in floor number 1 just one room with a spherical shape. In floor number 2, 
I have uh, two rooms. One is a spherical shape, the other one is a dumbbell shape. Similarly, you can analogy can be given to level three and four. And level three has three rooms, and level four has four rooms. And of course, we can go further, but the elements which you know, most of it gets filled in with the uh, number of levels I have. So I just stop with only S, B, D, and F. So so far, what have we learnt? We know the first quantum number, the principal quantum number, which gives me the level or the position of the electron. Then it gives. Then we went into the into the each level and defined one more quantum number called as the angular quantum number, and defined as L that takes the n minus one values, and this that gives me how many rooms are there in each level. So let's go further and know that how many. Um, and also we know the shape of these rooms. So let's go further and find out. And uh, each room has how many seats. And then we will see how many people we can accommodate into them. Okay, we have entered the building. And we are in the first floor. And we also know that the first floor has just uh, one spherical shaped room. So we still don't know in which way this room is placed whether it is near a window or whether it's a corner room or in other words uh, in an atomic orbital whether the atomic orbital uh, which way it is or what is the orientation whether it is in the x direction y or the z direction and the orientation of the um, atomic orbital is given by the magnetic quantum number ml and ml can take the values from minus l to positive l or let's go back to our analogy of the building. I'm in the first floor and it has a spherical shaped room. And once the room is spherical, it has no orientation. Therefore, the value of ml becomes equal to 0. But consider the second floor. When I'm going to the second floor, I have two values for uh, l. For uh, l equals 0, again I have a spherical room. But the second floor, there is another floor, uh, another room there for corresponding to L equals 1. And L equals 1 can take three values that is minus 1, 0 and positive 1. Or in other words, in floor 2, I have one spherical room and three dumbbell rooms in form of P. Uh, that is what, if I go back to my uh, atomic uh, orbitals, I have a spherical orbital and three dumbbell orbitals or in other words I have four places in which I can put my electron or I have four rooms one spherical and three dumbbell rooms in the second floor so go to the third floor in third floor when n equals 3 I can have three values for L 0 1 and 2 that gives me a total of nine rooms or nine places which I can put the, my electrons in and similarly Calculate, you can calculate for floor number 4 also, which has got 4 values of L, giving me more values for ML. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. This is the total number of uh, rooms I have in, floor, in the 4th floor. So, what have we learned so far? You learnt the first, the principal quantum number, which gives me the position of the electron. And then we have the... Um, angular quantum number L which gives me the um, shape of the uh, orbital in which the electron is there and we have next the magnetic quantum number ML which gives me the orientation of the atomic orbital whether it uh, it is towards the X, Y or the Z or if it is a spherical it has no orientation. So what did we start with? We wanted to accommodate my electrons in these orbitals. So I know what are the things which is available to me. I know I have different floors in a building and we know how many rooms are in each uh, floors and I also know the orientation of each uh, uh, room. So the next thing I just have to know is how many people I can fit in each room. Same way I just have to know how many electrons I can fit in each orbital which we have learnt so far. So let's go further and find out that. So we know the position of the electron. We also know that in each level how many uh, um, are, uh, rooms are there or how many uh, uh, subshells are there 
and now next thing we have to know is how many electrons we can put in each level and that is given by the spin quantum number when we get the spin of the atomic orbital and spin quantum number unlike any other previous thing can have only two values minus half and plus half so this will actually give me how many electrons i can put in each level or in analogy to our building how many people i can put in each uh, flow so when n is equal to 1 we know that L can take only a value of 0 and ML can take value of only 0 and we have only a spherically shaped, spherical shaped room which can accommodate uh, two PR electrons with a positive half spin or a negative half spin and therefore the number of electrons in level 1 can only be 2. So but go to the level 2 there I have a spherical um, shaped subshell and also a dumbbell subshells. So uh, in the S level I can have two electrons but since I have got three p orbitals each one can take two two electrons therefore a total of six electrons can be present in p and therefore in level two we have a total of two from S and six from p eight electrons and in level three the contribution from D also comes because we have 5 orbitals in D that gives me 10 electrons more and therefore I can have 18 electrons in level 3 and in level 4 because of the contribution from F I can have 32 electrons. So if I consider my building back I can have 2 people in first floor, 8 people in second floor, 18 in the third floor and 32 in the fourth floor. And we need a way of representing it. Therefore, in the first floor, when n is equal to 1, we call it as 1. Since it can have only the value of s, uh, L as S, 1S. And it can have only 2 electrons. We write it as 1S2. For the second uh, level, it will be 2S2. And when the P orbital is present, we will call it as 2P6. In case of a D orbital, suppose n is 4, it will be written as 4D10. So now, how will you know how many electrons are there in any orbital? We need a general formula for it. And the number of electrons in any level is given by 2n raised to the power of 2, where n is the atomic orbital level and it uh, will take the value of 1, 2, 3, 4. So based on this, you will be able to calculate how many electrons can be there in any level. Now this is just a summary of what we have learned so far and uh, a level n equals to 1, 2, 3 level we call it as a shell and the number of division in it we call it as a subshell and the number of divisions inside a subshell we call it as an orbital. So for n equals to 2 we have 1 shell, 2 subshells, 4 orbitals and which can take up 8 electrons and you can go over the other details saying that what are the possible values for each level which we have already uh, learnt in the previous uh, slides. Give two possible set of quantum numbers for an electron in the given orbital. So the orbital values are given and they have asked you to get the value of n, l, ml and ms. So and uh, since we have asked you for two sets we can show variation in ml or ms. So that is what is being given. You will be able to give more than what I have given. These are not the only answer. For like 4F, I can have more uh, answers than what has been given. But this is just an example of how to write the uh, uh, different quantum numbers and the limitations we have on the values of the quantum numbers. So this is some question. Predict if the following orbitals are possible. If not, give reasons. So the different quantum numbers N, L, M, L and M, S are given and the answer is also there and the reason is also there so you just go over and practice this because you know the values n l ml and ms can take so this question is based on that the question is write down the number of electrons that can be present in the following and uh, different orbitals are given and then uh, you have to calculate the number of electrons so we know that s can take two electrons p can take six D can take 10 and F can take 14 and any level and uh, the number of electrons is given by 2n to the power of 2. 
using uh, these values uh, this question is answered just practice over it we will go further and learn how to use all these quantum number in something called as an electronic configuration